Hi, I'm going to show you how to add the donation facility from Easy Fundraising into your Church Near You page. Now, the example I'm going to use is St Michael's in Flixton, which is the church where I'm warden and I'm also uh, the admin person for the Church Near You page. So I've already added this to our page, so I can show you how I did that. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that your Easy Fundraising page is already set up to uh, accept donations. And as you can see, the St. Michael's page already is. I can click on here to give a donation and it takes me through the three stage process to enable that to happen and to capture a digital gift aid declaration as well. So. What we're going to do is this address at the top, we're going to double click onto that address because I'm going to use that information later on uh, within the Church Near You page. So if I go into a Church Near You again now, this is our home page. And if I scroll down, you'll see that I've created a news article on the front page with an image for Easy Fundraising Donate. And if I click on Read This Story, it has a hyperlink here, which if I click on that hyperlink with my mouse, it takes me to the uh, Easy Fundraising page for St. Michael's Church. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go back into the home page. I'm hovering my mouse over News and Notices, and I'm going to click on the plus symbol to add a new news article. Put a headline in here. So it could be words of your choice, uh, a description. And then the news content is, this is where your hyperlink's gonna be, so please make Obviously that could be more detailed. It can put some information in about your church, why it's important that people donate. It's a list of building. Uh, it does lots of community work. It's got links to an active in its local schools. Whatever information you want to put in there, you can uh, uh, write that. Now I'm just going to highlight that. And as soon as I highlight that, we've got these formatting options that come up. But what we want is this little hashtag, which if we click on that, then gives you a hyperlink option. Now, we're going to go back to the uh, uh, Easy Fundraising Donations page. That hyperlink at the top here, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click with my mouse and copy. And then if I go back into the news article, I'm going to click and then right click with my mouse again to paste that link in. To save it, I need to click on the tick. Once I've done that, it then underlines it to show there's a hyperlink there. If I hover my mouse over it, it takes you, uh, shows you the address um, of the Easy Fundraising page. If I go down a little further, I need to select a date when this is going to go live. So I'm using today's date. I'm just going to use midnight. And then the final bit before we save is uploading an image. And the image that we are going to use is going to be found on another Google search. So I've just gone into Google and I've typed a, a search, easy fundraising, donate now button. And the first result that appears is this one here. So I can click on to view those. Uh, so I can click on there or I can click on images instead. It gets me to the same place. And we've got one, two, three, four different donation buttons that appear. So pick the one that you want to use. So I'm going to pick this bright pinky colored one. 
and when this appears once I've clicked on it once I'm going to right click and I want to save that image so I'm going to click on that it's going to open my file manager and I've already created in my documents I've already created a folder called a church near you so I'm just going to rename that file um, So that I know what it is and I'm going to click on save so that's saved that image into my documents if I go back into a church near you now and I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to double click on that and that adds that image into the page and if I scroll down and then click on save we then have the new story that has been created and it's been published. Now to make sure that that is appearing on our front page, we're gonna click on the home page edit, that little icon there. And when I scroll down, I want to choose the relevant news article. So I'm gonna choose the one that I've just created please make an online don donation to support our church and click on save. And then when I come into a church near you, again, and then I scroll down, what I'm gonna see is the article that I've just created. I click on to read this story. And then if I click onto the hyperlink, the hyperlink takes me directly to easy fundraising and then I can go ahead click on the give a donation and then I can say I want to do that yes I want to add gift aid click on the buttons put my postcode and my building name or house number in there click on next and then the final step is adding your bank card details to enable the donation to be paid from your bank into the church's bank account. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you get stuck, let me know. You can contact me via email, uh, via the diocese, and I'll respond uh, as quickly as I can uh, to provide an assistance or uh, host a Zoom meeting uh, with you if, if that's needed. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.